Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. I am Prabhu and in this session I would like to explain how to read attributes from Artolis program. Okay, first of all, let us see what is an attribute. So, some information that is stored along with a block is called attribute. Let us say we have two blocks over here. So, these are pole blocks. Poles means like electrical pole, telecom pole like that. What is the attribute that is stored along with this block? If you double click an attributed block, an attribute editor will open. So here if you see tag prompt value, three things are there in each attribute and three attributes are attached to this block. Those are height whose value is 12, material whose value is cement and category is electrical. So this attribute editor here itself if you want to change the value, you can simply edit the value and press enter so that that value will be changed so every attribute will have a tag and a value so say okay now let us see how to edit this how to read these attributes first of all later we shall see how to edit them so let's go to visually spy de take a new sheet so to read attributes we are going to see three new functions those are vlax invoke function in this we will be invoking a method called get attributes this method will be invoked using vlax invoke method next vla get tag string that is i told you know attribute will have a tag name so that we will get using this function and vla get text string so this function is used to read the value of that attribute okay tag and value so using these three functions we will be reading the attributes of the block okay then so let us see first of all try to these are all vla method so object to be passed is vla object so let us see how to do that one so first of all read the block entity name i am writing like this set q say blk is the block cr of end cell backslash n select block object so in this statement let us execute this statement and select any block now we have received the block entity name so now we shall invoke the method get attributes on this block here we have received an ordinary entity name we need to convert that to object vla object before we are going to invoke get attributes method so i am writing it like this set q attribute list vlax invoke and uh, here we need to provide VLA object name. So I am converting block entity name to VLA object using another method VLAX e name to VLA object. VLAX e name to VLA object VLK. So this statement will convert ordinary entity name to VLA object and we are applying get attributes method. So we need to use a single quote over here get attributes. So if you execute this statement the attributes attached to this vla object will be retrieved using get attributes method and that method will be invoked by this function so let us select this statement and load it so we can see a list of vla objects are returned okay we have got attribute list as a vla object list now let us try to read each attribute and print tag name and value assigned to the tag so I am writing like this for each attribute in attribute list and try to read tag name using this tag string method. So set Q tag read tag string from attribute and again value. So to read value I have given you know use this method VLA get text string from same attribute. So now we have tag name and value. So let us try to print it at the command prompt. Okay, so print str cat backslash n means print it in a new line. First tag name and then equal to value and then print. So I'm just going to print each attributes tag name and value side by side so that all the attributes and their values will be 
printed at the command prompt let us try to load this for for statement for each statement and then see the results so i am loading this if you see height 15 material cement category electrical so like this we can read attributes very simply using these three methods vlax invoke method to invoke get attributes method from block object but make sure that we are using activex methods so we should convert the ordinary entity name to vla object and pass it to vlax invoke and provide the method to be executed as get attributes and make sure you are using a single code before to this function and then to read the attributes from the attribute list received go to for each function and take each attribute read its tag name and then its value using vla get text string and then you can use them in any way so like this we can read attributes of a block using these three different functions invoke vla get tag string vla get text string if you want to change value of any attribute you can do that using another function that is vla put text string so using this function we can do that one so let me show you that one so i am writing it like this change height value to 15 meters okay so to do that one using the same for each attribute from attribute list i am going to write it like this so same get the tag name and value first of all okay and i am writing a small if condition if equal to tag say height otherwise we shall change the case of tag if it is lower case or upper case there may be a difference so let us try to make it upper case so if you change the case of tag to upper case it will be easy to compare it so change the tag case to upper case and check and if it is found then use this function which is vla put text string in attribute with value 15 okay it is a text string now we need to provide in double quotes and then close the if condition and proceed to the next so let us try to load this for each so this this should change the value to 15 let us load this statement so that has been completed let us go to autocad and check the value has been here you can see 15 we are able to see that one if you double click then also attribute editor will show you the current value of height it is 15 meters let us try one more time change height value from 15 to 20 so change height attribute value from 15 to 20 change the value over here vla put text string and select for each block and load it now go to autocad and check the value here you can see 20 the value has been updated so friends like this we can read block attributes and we can modify them using autolist program using these four different methods we can read block attributes and modify them so vlax invoke will invoke get attributes function on block with attributes and it will return attributes as a list and by processing attributes list using for each we can go through each attribute and we can read each attribute tag name using vla get tag string and the value of attribute using vla get text string friends hope you understood some of the viewers are requesting for the code that i am showing in the video so i would like to paste this code in the comments section those who are interested can copy down and paste in your visual editors and make a trial friends thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session